This is what I'm talking about. See, he's got like the good conspiracy music now. That's what I'm talking about. That's what the hell I'm talking about, brother. I'm saying it. Would this video count as hogwatch? Yes, but we are going to do hogwatch. He says God told him to start selling Trump stuff. His store is now a mega hit. The mugshot was really hot. And this stuff lasts probably about two months. It stays really hot. But the first week that we, the mugshot came out, we sold like 2,000 t-shirts. What's that? <laughs> That's uh, Trump's balls. Okay. <laughs> Whitey Taylor runs a busy Trump store in Boone's Mill, a town of fewer than 500 people in southwestern Virginia. We visited a week. Britain House is welcome in our house. Week after Christmas, with the Iowa caucuses just days away. Taylor predicted Trump would win the Republican nomination, and then business would really boom. Can only get these here. <laughs> How much are $20. $20. Yeah. Customers were bullish, too. What the superfans bought offers some insight into what they want politically. The merch is not just simple campaign slogans. It's defiant, even vulgar, aimed at buyers who enjoy being mad at the state of America and think there's one guy who will fix it. When Trump was indicted for all these different things, did people stop buying his merchandise? No, they bought it more. Why? Yeah. Because they knew it was like Russia collusion. This is all just all bull made up bull Now he has gained a lot of people because of this administration that we have. Yeah, it's just like the Russia collusion is bullshit. <laughs> Trump made a perfect phone Man, call. Yeah. You get we, people coming and saying Oh that? yeah, definitely, yeah. They'll just come in and say, never again will I be that stupid, you know. What have you observed about what people are looking for? People want our economy better. They're, they're very scared, I think, because of the way things are going. They feel like um, where we're at right now is not, is like stagnant. Were you interested in politics before Trump? Yes, and you know, it's strange, because I've always been Democrat. Really? <laughs> yes, so I yeah. am a firm no, believer in no, no. believing in a person and system that's going to make positive. I just, like, what in tarnation, dude? What the hell is going on, folks? What is happening with the, with the Republicans really are a party that runs on fear? Yeah. I just, Texas restaurant named Trump Burger? I, I don't know. Changes. I think in the past, I made some quick judgments about my voting. And so I'm very more. Oh, I believed in Bear Doc Hussein No Bummer, who I now know was a Muslim man. Kenyan Muslim man, and also a fan of terror sales. Bardock Hussein Obama, and also secretly was killed in the Osama bin Laden raid. That's right. The current Bardock Hussein no bummer is actually a Christian clone of Bardock Hussein no bummer. That's right. The real one died in the Osama bin Laden raid. They killed him. The Patriots seized control. Selective and it's more thought put into it. What's coming up right now? Who knows? The more the Democrats talk about uh, mega crazy people, then, it, you know, something will spin off of it. Within a 150 mile radius of here, anybody gets company in, they bring them here. Why'd you come in today? To get some uh, Trump stuff. So I can advertise and, you know, support him. Oh six, oh eight. I like lost everything I had, but I barely survived. I mean, I don't know how I did, and this is leading up to the same thing again. It's coming. The downfall is coming. And do you think Trump could pre prevent that? I think he can. Famously, Barack Obama was responsible for that too. I, I like that in his mind, he has not made the association with Republican Party politics at all, which of course liberals also contributed to, but still, like you would expect the brain dead hog to make the association with like George W. Bush, but he does not. He makes the association with the black man. <coughs> I think he can put the brakes on it and turn it around. I often wonder what encourages people to be a Democrat, because I don't see a lot of kindness. I don't see a lot of help for our country. That's so sick. For me, I think that's what I associate with Republicans is kindness. And I see a lot of talk, no action. 
He got into this business at the very beginning of Trump's takeover of the Republican Party. Taylor's a serial entrepreneur and attention seeker, and he prayed to God to guide him while selling racing merch at the Daytona 500. My son said, Dad, what's God telling you? I said, came in my spirit. He wants me to help Trump. I said, I'm going to order a thousand T-shirts. He said, Dad, but that's... God told him, engage in commerce, my son. Sell Trump T-shirts. That is sick. It's crazy. You know how crazy you get. Just get 100. I said, go big or go home, boy. I said, if God's telling me we'll sell every one of them, not with them trash can That's leave. awesome. All I we have had was a white T-shirt. It said, uh, hire the vets, fire the idiots, Trump 2016 on the front, red, white, and blue. And on the back, it said, finally, someone with balls, Donald J. Trump, okay? And I became known as the balls man on the tour. Taylor opened the store in the fall of 2020 inside a 100-year-old church. After the election, the big seller was Stop the Steal. Did you think the election was stolen? There's no doubt the election was stolen, yeah. And what did you think of January 6th? It was a bad thing, but if you look back, you actually look at the tapes and stuff, they were let in. Like they still should have never went inside, okay? You never go in somebody's house or a house, a public house like that, yeah. Does that complicate what you think of Trump at all, that he... No, no, out? definitely not, because he, he definitely didn't tell him to go and storm the house. Would you have any interest in running this store if Trump weren't so controversial? I doubt it. I like his controversy. You know, we need something that we can laugh about and be happy about. There's liberals that think they can come in here and actually tell me what to do. The last one was a professor from UNC. She was just telling me what a great job Biden's doing. I tried to tell her to leave. But do you not appreciate, you know, her oh, coming in and wanting uh, to mix it up a little bit? You know? Oh, I love it, yeah, but she don't want to hear what I have to say. She wanted me to only hear what she had to say. You've said that you want to rename this town Trump Town? Why not? The Boons are dead. The mill's gone. Let's change. Do you think other people support you with that? Not really, but it doesn't really matter. It's, it's good controversy if it never happens. Ellie Reeve, CNN, Boone's Mill, Virginia. That's awesome. I was on you simply or in the fall rewind. of 2020, inside a 100-year-old church. After the election, the big seller was Stop the Steal. Did you think the election was stolen? There's no doubt the election was stolen, yeah. And what did you think of January 6th? It was a bad thing, but if you look back, you actually look at the tapes and stuff, they were let in. Like, they still should have never went inside, okay? You never go in somebody's house. Dude, the Blue Lives Matter flag next to the Israel flag perfectly demonstrates American Republican Party politics in areas where you're just like, how did this happen? This is the number one supporter of Israel in America, by the way. Everybody's always like, oh, like anti-Semites are like, Oh yeah, it's the it's the shadowy uh, Jewish figures that are uh, unconditionally in support of Israel, and it's like no, it's this fucking guy, okay, <laughs> next to the Confederate flag too, one hundo p or a house, a public house like that. Yeah. Does that complicate what you think of Trump at all? That he no, went no, out? definitely not because he he definitely didn't tell him. I don't understand. If the election is stolen, then January six is perfectly valid. I feel like you can't. You can't hold those two beliefs at the same time in your mind. Like if, if you know in your heart of hearts, okay, if you know in your heart of hearts that the election was stolen, why the fuck wouldn't you want to fight back against it? That makes no sense. That just kind of breaks your entire ideology apart. It just rips it apart. Go and storm the house. Would you have any interest in running this store if Trump weren't so controversial? I doubt it. I like his controversy. You know, we need something that we can laugh <laughs> you about can on happy Oxy. about. There's liberals that think they can come in here and actually tell me what to do. The last one was a professor from UNC. She was just telling me what a great job Biden's doing. I tried to tell her to leave. But do you not appreciate, you know, huh. her oh, coming? Oh, wait, what? He tried to kick out a, a lip dart that came into my store because that's not what free speech is about, brother. And then and wanted to mix it up a little bit. You know? Oh, I love it, yeah, but she don't want to hear what I have to say. She wanted me to only hear what she had to say. You said that you want to rename this town Trump Town? Why not? The boons are dead. The mill's gone. Let's change. Do you think other people support you with that? Not really, but it doesn't really matter. It's, not really. It's good controversy if it never. Not really, but it doesn't really matter. Love this guy, dude. I'm getting throwbacks to your Texas stream. Uh, uh, LA has. Damn, dude. This fucking. This got almost a million views. What the fuck? Dude, I was banging. Those were the days, boys. Oh my God, GG's to those days, you know what I'm saying? Just having fun, live streaming, debating dudes.
My hair was awful. I look like shit in general. Hair awful. I'm looking like but shit. Really, oh, this guy's the best. But I really want you to ask yourself. Did I fail you as a creator? Or did y'all fail me as followers? I don't understand, like, how someone is like this. And I don't mean, like, him thinking he's literally God. I mean, like, how does he look like that? Like, what happened? I mean, he, this is also the thumb build, you know what I mean? Like, this is the, this guy, I assume, is the chief of police, right? He's the, he's the head of the Sergeant Benevolence Association somewhere. Like, he has to be. And, like, he didn't even, he didn't even do a day of training. Like, they just instantly said, they looked, they took one look at him and were like, that's it, you're hired. <laughs> to the highest levels, to the highest levels of being a cop, sir. You are the greatest police officer we've ever seen. I didn't even pay attention to what he was saying. I'm so perplexed. Oh, he was like, nah, who said he looks like the Snapchat ghost? He does look like the Snapchat ghost. Um, perfect goatee. <laughs> My dad was like that, denounced J6, but didn't believe Biden won, but he was also Mormon. Your videos got him off the Fox Media shit, and he's chill now. I'm trans, and he's totally on board now. Jesus Christ, that's awesome. Hell yeah. That's sick. He looks like the car crash optimized... Uh, human, I agree. This guy deserves the opposite of whatever mewing is. There is no opposite of mewing. There's only mewing. Kaya, chill. Hey, calm down now. I saw him once again ruin the stream with his jawline privilege. It's ain't his fault. He looks like a mucinex booger. Uh, excuse me. This man is perfection. He gets in a car crash. Guess what? He's surviving. You get in a car crash, dead. Me too, actually. I, like, we all die in a car crash. He doesn't. So. Who's the real winner in this situation, okay? Think about all the times you spent inside of a car. All right, let's do some, uh, dude, let's do some, some, while we're on the topic of thumb maxing, does anyone have some hogwash shit for me or no? All right, go ahead. It's link. Uh, link privileges have been given. I don't want to watch that. Mm. What is I have <laughs> saved the seven sea. I got the mood change around me. I just wonder where I'd be. I met a girl that I did not know, but she won't leave my mind. And where she lives, where she's gone, I guess I never find. What the fuck is this, M HUD? Okay, what is this? The most irrelevant country right now is India. First of all, have they ever fought in a war? I feel like they don't participate in war, which is fine. I respect that. That's like unproblematic, but like what's good with them? Do they have a king or a president? Also, does no one want their land? Why? I, I don't understand why people are dunking on this woman. This is the median American voter. One hundo P. Okay. <clears throat> this is just how the average American thinks and operates. Okay, this is like, this is what they do. This is how they operate. This is how they behave. Respect that they stay out of conflict, but like, who do they fight for? This is my favorite thing, by the way, because like, this is the most Reddit thing she could have done. A phenomena I observe on Reddit all the time, which is that she, one, came up with like a bunch of fake nonsense that she could have easily Googled and then launched secondary assertions off of the faulty premise that she just made up, okay? This is something that people do on Reddit all the time where they'll be like, yeah, as you guys know, India's never been in a war. And then a second guy will follow up on it and be like, yeah, the real reason why India's never been in a war is because their land is not really feasible and nobody wants it. And it's just like this weird circle jerk where half the time I'm just like, why are you guys having this conversation? This is just wrong. It's like when ChatGPT gives you false information and because it's a machine, you think it's smarter than you. And okay, maybe it's smarter than you because you got duped by a fucking machine. But like, but like, why did you do this? Why did you do this to yourself? Makes no damn sense. Ridiculous. Or who are their allies? I just feel like I never hear about them. Like no natural disasters, no uprisings. Yes, They're never in the press. Where are you, India? What's a relevant country right now? That's my favorite, dude. Look how far Larry Elder has fallen.
Why does my number of followers barely change day by day despite how often I post and how clever and meaningful the content? Please be advised, there is deep state at X and with all due respect, you are busy and distracted. You don't even know it. That's awesome. I mean, he's right. I think this is a real conspiracy and I'm glad he's the right guy to get to the bottom of it, dude. That's right. My man. I got, I got told on Reddit that the Yemeni pirates haven't killed anybody yet because they are just bad at killing. I like that usually the follow-up of that is also the wrong information that actually the, the Yemeni pirates, the Houthis, uh, genocided themselves. And they are the ones responsible for the genocide and not the American-backed uh, coalition forces. They're simultaneously bad at killing, but also very good at killing their own people. Not dissimilar to uh, Hamas. Um, American Spy Pigeon Conspiracy could be fun to watch. This is an American Spy Pigeon with an explosive device inside it that is as powerful as a small nuclear weapon. Next to it is a military-grade chip that processes the information it receives. Below the pigeon is a turbofan engine that can dive at the target if necessary. This shit's awesome because, like, Alibaba, you can just buy it for, like, 20 grand. <laughs> Like, oh, you think this is fake? Guess what? You can buy it for $20,000 at Alibaba, okay? They ship it immediately. Shipping is free. I don't know how they did it. Bro, on Alibaba, they sell... On Alibaba Express, they straight up sell... Can you help my TikTok VOD channel getting hit for bullying by posting your clips? I don't know. I, I can't even help my own TikTok channel, Chatter. I don't know what to do. On Alibaba, you can buy... I looked it up. I saw it on Twitter too. You can buy drones and you can also simultaneously buy anti-drone weapons too. And the anti-drone weapons are like $1,200. Like they're cheap as hell. You know, the ones that they use that look like a 4090. It looks like a gun, but it's also like a 4090. They use it in Ukraine. It's AliExpress, old man. Okay, whatever, dude. Above the engine is a fuel storage tank to power it. On the pigeon's chest is a high-definition camera that can take very clear pictures even at a great distance. And the pigeon's head is equipped with a message transmitter, which can transmit the information it shoots. At the moment it is monitoring a house where a top Soviet scientist lives, and it has an eye on the scientist's every move. It transmits the information- The top Soviet scientist. <laughs> what, what era is this from? It transmits the information it has captured through the satellite antennae which is picked up by the spy satellites high in the sky, and then passes this information on to the intelligence office on the ground. The intelligence officer synthesizes this information, and once he analyzes it to be unfavorable to the United States, he gives the order to attack. When the pigeon receives the order to attack, it immediately starts its jet engines and swoops down toward the scientist's house. No, not the Lada. That sucks. The next day's newspaper then carried the information that the scientists had been accidentally killed in a fire. Watch, uh, Someone Trump once captured supporters. one of these pigeons and took it apart, and it looked like this. I respect that. The fuck is this? What? Wait, did he do that on purpose? I can do that. Yeah, me too, man. I've done that so much. It's just a bunch of kids in Yemen. What are they going to do? Grow up and shut down the Red Sea? <laughs> Weird conspiracy guy. I really want to touch on these uh, alleged giant trees. You notice how weird. That okay, here's what I got to say right off the jump. Where is the weird conspiracy music? They're using a different conspiracy music instead of the one that I'm accustomed to. I don't like that. I, I, I don't like when, when they don't got the cool conspiracy music. It's messed Weird up. That looks right there on this alleged mountain. Those are hexagonal shapes, right? Those are hexagons. Mr. Project Frequency right here shows us trees create hexagonal cell walls. That's six sides, okay? Six sides. Y'all remember that? And that's Devil's Tower. Those are hexagons. And what do we have here? Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hexagon. What does that really look like to y'all? I mean, there's so many alleged stories. Okay, so a lot of the stories you hear are the trees were cut down to keep the giants from getting away from the flood. The angels came down, cut them down. You know, we don't know what happened. Nobody knows. What Wait, really? Nobody knows what happened. Nobody. What happened? But there's a very good chance that uh, that's definitely a possibility. I mean, that's just not. 
I love that. I mean, he's right. He's just, nobody knows. I will not investigate further. That looks like a big tree to me. I think that's a big tree. Not a natural forming formation. It's just, it doesn't look natural anyway to me. What do y'all think? Alleged, alleged, alleged. Yeah. I like that. I like that he drops the, what do y'all think? Like Philip DeFranco style. But then also beyond that, he's not going to investigate it further. And then also he hits it with the alleged, 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 like the government's coming after him for this level of like misinformation about the giant tree, the giant tree secret that he came up with. The government's going to come after him unless he says alleged. They're outside. They're outside. Yeah, I know. I get tired of saying it too, man. But yeah, there we go. Yeah, he gets, he has to say it all the time. I need any more from this guy. The secret's within. Please tell me I've heard this mystery flesh pit national park in Texas. This is what I'm talking about. See, he's got like the good conspiracy music now. Creepy smile, horror background music. That's what I'm talking about. That's what the hell I'm talking about, brother. None of that other bullshit. This is a gigantic, like massive living, breathing pit of flesh. What? Government take his, government took his fucking TikTok down. What the Please hell? Please tell me I've heard this mystery flesh pit national park in Texas. This is a gigantic, like massive living, breathing pit of flesh. And it basically mimics the human body. <laughs> so look, they turned into the national park, right? And they made it where people go in there and explore and all kinds of stuff. There's creatures inside of there. So it's called Earth Thussy. And you go in there and you fuck it. And that's how Adam and Eve was created. Everybody knows that. God put his dick in the earth to see. And that's how Adam and Eve was created. So here's one of the signs. Look at this. Environment beyond this bulkhead constitutes the interior systems of a living organism. This environment is actually... Does this guy think this is like a real thing that's going on? And like these are real signs out there? Hostile to human life. Serious injury, dude. Here's some of the creatures that you could come in contact with if you're walking around down there so look this one right here it that this is like some stuff off king kong skull island you know what i'm saying look if you see flora or fauna within the mystery flesh pit national park is an online series created by artist trevor roberts that's what the government wants you to think dumbass project revolves around a fictional mystery flesh pit a national park located in the fictional town of gumption takes park itself is a massive subterranean organism of unfathomable size discovered during the mid 1970s and was made a national park later on in the 1980s before a sudden closure to the public in 2007 so this is this tiktok is just a copy pasta reporter no i think that back in the day people used to do copy pasta shit okay Nowadays, I think people see the copy pasta and think it's real. And then also think that uh, they think it's real. And then they think that it's like the government is actively hiding it. Oh, my God. He literally got this from this. Bro, this is literally like thinking that movies are real life. I mean, I guess they do that, too. Oh, that's Park, so it does stupid. not appear to notice you. Back out of sight and change your course. Move out the air quietly. While many life forms within the pit to seem to be tolerant to human presence and distances farther than two. The government hides everything useful. Don't ever try this. Here's how you can see if your crush is secretly in love with you. First, you're going to need to get some paper and put a red dot on it. After that, lay the paper down and put one drop of water in the middle. This will cause the ink to spread, but if it doesn't make a heart shape, your crush doesn't love you. However, if the spot forms a heart, your crush definitely loves you. If you're brave... <laughs> yeah why didn't he say allegedly watch out brother tiktok's gonna come after you for misinformation and we all know what that is it's code word for the real truth that the government somehow doesn't want you to know about everybody knows okay what what other what other sick tips does this guy have don't ever try this don't ever try this why did he say don't ever try this wait i didn't even think about that why don't didn't he ever say try this why does he say don't ever try this? It's like, nah, -uh, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it, dude. Excuse me. Why do you not want me to try it? Now I immediately want to try it. You know what I mean? Please go back to this. This woman has. A does ball. anyone want to tell me how in 1927 Universal Studios came up with this picture of the world when the first picture of the world wasn't available until the 60s? 
through none other. Wait. <laughs> Does she think that people in like, wait, what? Does she think maps were created in the 60s? Oh my God, please don't tell me she thinks maps were created in the 60s. There is no goddamn way that she thinks maps were created in the 1960s. I'm a loser. Or even globes, by the way. Not maps, just globes. That's also false. No, they didn't just have globes 300 years ago. That's also false. They had globes far before Galileo, okay? Like, there were, there were motherfuckers out there in, in Copernicus, in the Copernicus era, running around with the globes, being like, this shit's real, okay? And people were like, no, nah, dog, you're crazy. So, globes have been around for a minute. Other than who? People knew the world was round. NASA, right? Almost 40 years later, how did Universal Studios know this is what the world looked like, y'all? Hmm? Especially from space when we... Okay, this is fake, right? I, I like, she said, especially. It's gotta be fake. Haven't been to space yet at that point. Does anyone know? Or does anyone want to guess? Hmm. I'll tell you. The reason lying about the shape of the earth and making it into a ball is simple. Because you can cut off any land you want and keep them hidden. Watch this demonstration and you tell me if this doesn't what? make fucking sense. Reason for lying about- Dude, how are we in 2024? Literally like, like we are currently what? 3,000, 4,000 years in the future from dudes that had a better understanding and assessment of what the fucking planet looked like and what the shape of it was. What is going on, man? How, what is happening? Like there were dudes that barely had an understanding of like working sewage systems, okay? Living in circumstances where, you know, other dudes would just straight up die. People thought like menstruation was evil or some shit and they still knew <sighs> i feel like information overload like maybe this is too much information people can't handle it we're devolving to medieval peasantry no literally it's like she's a, yeah i know i remember reacting to her i'm such a fan of her about shit. the shape of the earth and making it into a ball is because when you turn it into a ball you can cut off any land you want and keep it hidden for example we will take this map we will cut out a piece And we will take this flat piece and wrap it around a ball. Now this is where I tell you that this is all there is. You can only go to destinations that are on the globe because you now believe that's all there is. But we still have all the land that I cut off earlier. It's seriously that easy. And when what? What? I I I don't even I don't even understand like what the point is. Like, does he think that there's more to the earth than the way, than what we think? Like, this guy literally is going back to, like, Christopher Columbus era. Like, oh, we can still traverse the planet. Like, there's areas that are worthy of exploration that, like, the government is hiding from us. That's crazy. That's fucking sick. Hold on, I gotta, like, cry out to people. When you consider it... It really is a plausible reason to lie. Such a plausible reason to lie. I'm assuming most of you know about Antarctica, but if you don't, drop it in the comments if you want me to make a video. It's called the American dream because you have to be a fucking sleep to believe it. Oh Does my God. Does anyone want to tell me how? She hit it with the, she hit it with the fucking classic. What's his face? Oh my God. With the, with the Carlin dude. Yeah, that's right, baby. I'm in on it. I know the secrets. Yeah. Did you know that every time we celebrate a holiday, we are celebrating one of the seven deadly sins? Story of our lives, right? Can't even have a fucking holiday. Let's get into it. We'll start off with Valentine's Day. Now, what deadly sin can this celebrate? If you guess lust, you're right. 
No need to explain that one. Thanksgiving, sin of gluttony. Pretty self-explanatory, you're eating way more than you need. Christmas, greed, overconsumption. We saw- I mean, it's like, first of all, she's just describing being an American. She is describing just American culture, which is true, but she's missing the forest for the trees. I don't understand. Like, and also the seven deadly sins is a, it's just like every holiday, every American capitalist holiday is a demonstration of the seven deadly sins. I love that. I love my favorite type of shit is whenever someone like has a real takeaway, you know, cause like everybody on TikTok is trying to goof and gaff in the comment section. Like, oh, you're so stupid. Oh, this is like a, a real product of American education. No. The real gems are the people that go, they don't, you're right. Deborah, you're right. They don't even feel the same anymore these days. Like, like this person has a real come to Jesus moment. Okay. What? Or this guy. Why is holiday pronounced holy day instead of holy day the way it's spelled? One clue. The holly tree. Correct. Bro, they're having a stupid off in the chat. They're getting dumber by communicating with one another. How can you not love this? You need to immediately separate them and put them in a re-education camp, okay? But instead, the, the American mind lets these guys thrive. I'd get offended if someone was more stupid than me. It's so perfect. It's so perfect. I, I oh God, I love it. I love it so much. Love it. It fucking terrifies me. Why? Just enjoy the show, baby. Enjoy the show, okay? Just kick back and, and learn to love it. Celebrate gifts more than the actual reason for the holiday. St. Patrick's Day. Can you guess? None other than sloth. And why? Because people get blacked out drunk. Up next, East... Wait, what? what? St. Patrick's Day. You know, the holidays that we celebrate. Christmas. <laughs> Valentine's Day. Thanksgiving and St. Patrick's Day. What do you mean the St. Patrick's Day? <laughs> That's so dumb. One of the big holidays, obviously. Duh. Easter. This one's interesting. They say Easter is envy because the Romans were jealous of Jesus and unalived them. Oh, dude, dude, complete cultural victory. Okay. It's so Jover. Uh, China has China has successfully done it again, dude. The Dengus Gambit times two. Give Americans what they crave more than anything else. What do Americans crave more than anything else? Just like a bunch of other dumbasses that listen to what they have to say and go, yeah, aha, that's right. And then be celebrated with fame. Just immaterial, totally silly fame for a brief moment. They want validation for their stupidity and, and God damn it. TikTok gives it to them so good. This way you could just have, it's like, it's like a, it's like a giving a toy to a baby, like a crying baby. You, you jiggle some keys in front of the crying baby and they stop crying. Oh, she said unalive, dude. Jesus Christ was unalived by the Romans who were envious. Unalive. <coughs> You got a 40 year old divorced former nurse anti vaxxer freak using the term unalive. God, I love it. The next one Halloween. It's wrath. You get it, scaring and hurting people for fun while wearing masks? Weird. And last but not least, the sin of pride. None other than. Oh, she's also weirdly like anti American. It's like kind of crazy. But I don't even understand this one. You get it scaring and hurting people for fun? Wrath? I'm sorry. Are you admitting that you get scared on Halloween? Like as a grown adult person? Are you saying that on Halloween you see you see scary individuals? Like you see people wearing masks and you're like, oh, scary. It's scaring and hurting people for fun while wearing masks? And hurting. Weird. It's scary and hurting people for fun. And last but not least, the sin of pride. None other than Independence Day. Makes sense, right? The more you know. It's called the American dream because you have to be asleep to believe it. 
Yo, I think she I think I think she thinks she invented that. Also, this has nothing to do with the American dream at all. Nothing she just talked about has anything to do with the American dream. Like not even tangentially related to the American dream at all. I think she's that's like her sign off. Type of woman whose kids are outside playing with matches and throwing rocks at birds. Yeah. She's shooting this TikTok. She has the tripod set up, okay? She has the tripod and the ring light set up, shooting this TikTok while her kids are, like, underneath the kitchen sink cabinet, drinking all of the toxic uh, chemical uh, cleaning supplements. They're just, they're straight up going to town on that bleach down there. They're like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Can somebody tell me why this isn't headline news? This should be across all news networks. The senior Pentagon official that oversees elementary schools, right? Arrested in human trap. Wait, what? Why? Why is there a senior Pentagon official that oversees elementary schools? Like the story itself is already weird, lady. You don't have to cook it up. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Epicking sting. Question. Why do we need anyone from the Pentagon to oversee elementary schools? You Why does she keep saying elementary? I don't... Where is she getting elementary from? I have to see this. Hold on. Top defense department official arrested. What is it? Investigators in Coda County have released a new video of the human trafficking sting, which saw the arrest of a top department of defense administrator for allegedly soliciting sex. The undercover operation... Busted 26 people, including 64-year-old Stephen Hovanek of Sharpsburg. Oh, he is. He's the... He's... Oh, his job is the chief of staff of the Department of Defense's Education Activity Americas, overseeing the education of thousands of military-dependent children. He was uh, at the motel getting a massage, he claims, and he got arrested for solicitation of sex. Oh, he got charged with pandering. They dropped it. They lowered it to pandering, which is misdemeanor. Yeah, he was just like trying to have sex with a prostitute. Right? Like, that's what it is. That's it. This was a sting for prostitution, and they just went wild on the news story. Yeah, they arrested like 60 people. Or 26 people, sorry. And, and one of them was the guy overseeing like, uh, I guess, military children of like service members. But it's like, she makes it seem like he was uh, doing sex trafficking personally. And he was just, you know, maybe she's like, she's like a Twitter surf, uh, surf, Twitter surf. You know what I mean? She's like, oh, were you, were you a John? That means you were participating in sex trafficking personally. That's what, it, that's what she is. She's actually woke. I realized she's feministly saying you cannot make this shit up if you fucking tried. Don't trust anyone. These okay, but like, it, you're you're looking at a news article. Like they covered it in the news. You're pointing to a news article that covered it in the news in local news, and it's just like not that big of a deal because it was just one dude, you know, getting a nut off and was arrested with twenty six other or twenty five other people. Pedos are just coming out of the woodwork. I hate to tell you, but we haven't seen the worst of it yet. Epstein was just the tip of the iceberg. Wait till you hear about Getty Museum. This place has 12 floors underground. Wait, breaking news. She's, she's saying she tied it to Jeffrey Epstein. Dude, I'm just waiting for her trademark. I'm waiting for her to say the line. Two million women and children were there in 2018. And just think how many more islands that we don't know about. Wait, what? <laughs> she said the Getty Museum is harboring, like, what, sex trafficked children or something? Two million of them. Two million of them are... Or is she saying two million people visited the Getty Museum? Because that's normal. It's a museum. She said it herself. I don't understand. Underground. Two million women and children were there in 2018. And just think how many more islands that we don't know about yet that were just as bad as Epstein's Island or... Wait, what does this have to do with the Getty Museum? What does this have to do? What is going on? Why is she saying... How is she going to tie this together? 
Is she trying to say that there are islands hidden under the Getty Museum? Worse. Remember, guys, it's called the American dream because you have to be asleep to believe it. <laughs> she did it. She did the thing. What does that have to do with the American dream? No, what is that? What? She did it. No, I don't. I don't get it. It's all coming out says Jan Lynn. <laughs> the Getty Museum is so strange. Each floor has a guard that will only let you go to certain places like they're hiding something. <laughs> Guys, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, okay? What was the name? What was the fucking... Uh, someone give me a good conspiracy jam, please. I need it. No, not X-Files. No, like the one that they use on TikTok. No. God, we haven't, I haven't relied on chat in a minute. We don't have any, uh, we don't, we don't have the good synchronization that we used to have. Crystal Castle's transgender TikTok version? No, that's not it. No, come on, come on. Elza, ladies and gents, let me tell you the other day. I had to go get groceries. And while I was getting groceries, I went and I stopped by what they're calling a bonk. That's right. B-A-N-K. A bonk. And while I was at the bonk, they were hiding something. What were they hiding? I do not know. There was a guy with a weapon there telling me I can't go to the back room. What do they got back there? Let me tell you, I, I know what they got back there. They got babies. They got little children in the back of the bunk. Everybody knows that. If I'm not allowed into a space, immediately I assume Jeffrey Epstein's island. They got pedophile children back there. Not just regular old children, the pedophile children. <laughs> okay? They have them back there. They don't want them to the tune of two million, as a matter of fact. Two million pedophile children in the back of the bank. Bonk, I mean. The worst kind. They say it's the American dream because you have to be alive. Or, well, fuck. I fucked it up. <laughs> they say it's the American dream because you have to be asleep to feel it. I fucked it up again. What was it? <laughs> to believe... They say it's the American dream because you have to be asleep to believe it. Okay. Boo, boo this man. Shut up, dude. At least I didn't do a top of the hour ad break like you all suspected. That's the real debate, some might say. Because at the top of the hour, there is a three-minute ad break. If you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe for $5 or free with Twitch Prime. I connect to your Amazon Prime account through Twitch account where you get one free Prime subscription a month. Use it on your favorite broadcaster. Probably an olivider to the earth's core back there behind that shiny thick door. That's right. Uh, excuse me, officer. If you didn't want me playing with your service weapon, why is it so shiny? What are you hiding? Pedophile babies. That's right. Inside of the weapon, there's a magazine. Inside of that magazine, fetuses. Pedophile fetuses. <laughs> I'm a conspiracy theorist. Of course I'm going to tell you to turn your location off when we hang out. You're on TikTok. You're posting on TikTok. What do you mean? Like, who, who's going to come after you, Deborah? Why is the government coming after you, Deborah? For the big secrets about the Getty Museum for ops. I'm a conspiracy theorist. Of course I'm going to ask you. You're really going to eat that? I'm a conspiracy theorist. Of course I'm going to tell you to turn the news off. I'm a conspiracy theorist. Of course, I'm going to make you take walks with me barefoot. I'm a conspiracy. Wait, what does that have to do with anything? I bet you. Wait, okay, we'll do this in a second. Hold on. Conspiracy theorist. Of course, I'm going to tell you everything man made is fake. I'm a conspiracy theorist. Of Wait, what? Is that a conspiracy? Everything man made is fake? What does that mean? What? Of course, I'm going to point out all the symbolism in every movie we watch. I'm a conspiracy theorist. Of course, I'm going to tell you to never touch a receipt again. Oh, yeah, hell yeah, brother. You'll get gay.
You'll catch the gay if you touch that receipt. I'm a conspiracy receipt. theorist. Of course I'm going to point out everything that's satanic. I'm a conspiracy theorist. Of course I'm going to tell you your favorite celebrity ain't shit. That's a healthy attitude to have, I think. All right, let's look at this. You thing. didn't know Nickelodeon is satanic. TikTok, this video is for entertainment purposes Maybe that's why I keep getting banned. And that's why, like, my fan accounts keep getting banned. I don't say TikTok. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Please don't ban me. Like, those disclaimers don't work anywhere else except for TikTok. Weirdly enough, you know how, like, the Japanese saw the protocols of Zion and were like, these guys are awesome. We believe everything that's going on with the Jews. Maybe... The Chinese people also saw that stuff that people write on Facebook posts. Like, if anyone involved with a federal law enforcement officer is watching, like, please know everything being said here doesn't work. And they thought, like, oh, that's real. That's like a cheat code. So now they've decided, like, you can't ban someone legally if they say, in any case of investigation by a federal entity or similar... I do not have any involvement with this group or with the people in it. I do not know how I am here, probably added by a third party. I do not support any actions by any members of this group. Everything I have posted is purely satire and should be treated as such in a court of law. I have committed no crimes and I am an innocent bystander. Yeah. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of like uh Chinese secret service agents going, oh, fuck. We can't prosecute. She fucking got us. This video is a complete lie and fabrication. It's all a joke. So the word itself, Nickelodeon, can you guess what that word actually means? Anyone have a guess? Guess what it means in Latin. Nickelodeon. I'm getting formerly uh, did OnlyFans vibes. Translated from Latin to English means I don't care about God. I've seen this before, like the whole, I, I've seen this before, the Nickelodeon. Uh... Is that not fucked? Everything is satanic and everything is programming. They're going to eat you up for that, Haas? Wait, what? Who? Who they? They? First and foremost, I think you know that I have no issue with OnlyFans at all. So it's not like a pejor, like that's not like a bad thing. I'm not using that as like a way to demean her. But it is pretty funny because it's like, wow, I can't believe you're like, I can't believe you're demeaning her by assuming that she must be a sex worker that you are using in a negative way instead of listening to her, what she has to say right now, which is obviously very only fan and bio opinion discarded. No, <laughs> yeah, only fan and bio opinion discarded is is. Technically, that is anti-sex work and misogynistic. What is funny about it, however, is that in this situation, in this situation, <laughs> it's not, it's not the only fans in the bio that would discard someone's opinion. It's what she's saying. If anything, given her content currently, her having an OnlyFans gives her actual lends credence to her making content that is like at least somewhat valuable to the broader public. Not to mention some of the storylines and characters that Nickelodeon presents, all dark. So who's gonna still allow their kids to watch Nickelodeon? Tell me what you guys think in the comments and until the next one. You're one of the few broadcasts and podcasts that brings women that with OnlyFans and does not attack them, it's true. I'm in a, in a way I've uh, pioneered the whatever podcast and the Fresh and Fit podcast method of bringing only fans girls on the broadcast except you know i did it with the intent of humanizing and having cool conversations with them whereas they took that and then went in the exact opposite incredibly misogynistic direction which to be fair is uh seemingly more successful so if you trust the government i don't trust you there's a reason they don't want us to know that they know about the bottom of the ocean you know that right what, who? Okay. They know about the bottom of the ocean? They don't want us to know that they know the bottom of the ocean? What is that sentence? What the fuck does that even mean? What is she saying? Okay, so I feel like I have to address this because I've been getting a lot of comments and questions about people say, like, well, we don't know anything about the ocean. We've never been to the bottom, blah, blah, blah. You guys. I'm thinking about a guy 
I'm thinking about a guy who's like really misogynistic, but also really into conspiracy theories. And then he does the, uh, oh, OnlyFans uh, spotted opinion discarded. And then immediately actually has a come to Jesus moment and no longer believes in conspiracies because he's so misogynistic that he saw that she was doing OnlyFans and is no longer believing in that. Now he's going back to college. So yeah, guess what, dude? Maybe misogyny, not so bad. Think twice before saying bigotry is bad always. In this hypothetical I made up, it's actually very good. Ha <laughs> ha. Destroyed your entire moral framework. Where does Wi-Fi come from? Do you know? I cannot wait to hear people's response to this. Wait, Drop what? it in the comments. Where does Wi-Fi come from? No celebrity is real. No celebrity is woke. I hope we don't. Cat Williams is controlled opposition, just like Jim Carrey, Andrew Tate, Alex Jones, David Ice, Russell Brand. David Ice. <laughs> she said David Ice. <laughs> what the fuck? Bro. She's not even putting respect on the name of those who came before her. Like, <laughs> David Icke, am I a fucking joke to you, ma'am? The, the amount of time I put into this nonsense that you're just going to disrespect me like that? And <laughs> she said, David Icke. Oh. These are all just celebrity characters that expose the industry, but you guys... They're part of the industry. TikTok, this video is for entertainment purposes only. Nothing I say in this video is true, and it is all just speculation. I'll say it again for the people in the back. These people are not to be trusted. They work for Holly Weird. They do all of it to simply mock us. For us to think that there is hope and there is an idol that we all adore that's standing up for the people, all spitting facts and exposing the industry, right? The truth is, this is a dream come true to some people. But you guys, their controlled opposition, that is their character to play, to gain your trust. I love when conspiracy people engage in like leftist purity spirals. It's sick. Like she's, she's making, she's like claiming that all the other conspiracy theorists that are famous now that came before her are actually bad and they are controlled opposition. This is someone's stepmom. <laughs> Dude, that would be the sickest stepmom to have. Are you kidding me? She's like perma content. She'd be endless content. Thanksgiving would be incredible. She'd be chirping about how this is actually one of the seven deadly sins. Gluttony, as a matter of fact. Stop celebrating it. <laughs> Look at her bio, just noticed. It's called the American dream because you have to be asleep. Uh, uh, there you go. She's chirping. She's chirp. She's doing it. Okay. The celebrity one's kind of boring. When you guys look at doors, what do you see? If you really look at them, it's actually a cross up top and an open Bible down at the bottom. So doors have been made this way for a reason. And since Salem witch trial days, these doors were made to keep witches away and bad spirits wait i don't have doors like that what does that mean <laughs> what's going on does she think doors always look like that <laughs> she's becoming hotter by the minute you guys need a law okay Makes sense wouldn't you want your damn door made out of a cross i would the more you know the less you want to know wait she's not saying it see you on the next one Wait, she didn't do the, you need to be asleep. History is simply just repeating itself, and Earth is an infinite time loop. Everything that has happened to us and that will happen to us has already happened to another civilization before us. TikTok, this video is for entertainment purposes only. Everything said and shared in this video is purely speculation. But then... <laughs> she doesn't even film that for every video. She just did it one time and now uses it fast because she needs to fill the, the one minute and 12 second with all the juicy good stuff. So she doesn't even have enough time to, to spare there. She has the weight. As you guys know, there's a great reset and it starts us right back to where we came from. What's the point of this, you may ask? 
It stops us from advancing and overthrowing the powers that be. Just think about it. Yeah, no, this is like the final stage because she's obviously arrived at the truth. You know, this, she's single handedly uncovered. She's single handedly uncovered <coughs> devastating truths about the planet. And that's why they have to just end us. Girl, how do you know so much about so much? I love that. It's a long story. I have to make a video. I'll have to make a video. Yeah, time is a flat circle. The Tartarians, the Egyptians, a lot of the buildings and structures they built back then, we cannot recreate now. Okay, I always like this because, like, there is some real shit that she's adding into the equation. I mean, it's not wrong that there was, like, a tremendous amount of... I mean, I don't know about the Tartarians. I don't know what that is, but um, what is a Tartarian? But no, we did have a lot of tech. Okay, now I'm looking it up. Tartary or Tartary is a historical name for Central Asia and Siberia. Ignorance surrounding Tartary's use of a place whose name is uh, spawned pseudo-historical conspiracy theories, including hidden past and mud floods. Such theories assert that Tartary or the Tartarian Empire was a lost civilization with advanced technology and culture. This ignores the well-documented history of Asia, which Tartary refers to. In the present day, the Tartary region covers a region spanning from central Afghanistan and northern Kazakhstan, as well as areas in present Mongolia, China, and the Russian Far East in Chinese Tartary. The globalized version of the conspiracy theory is based on the alternative view of architectural history. Adherents propose that demolished buildings such as the Singer Building, the original New York Penn Station, or the temporary grounds of the 1915's World Fair were actually the buildings of a vast empire based in Tartary and has been suppressed from history. What? Other buildings, such as the Great Pyramids in the White House, are further held out as Tartarian buildings. The conspiracy theory is the idea that the mud flood wiped out much of the world via depopulation, and thus old buildings is common, supported by the fact that many buildings across the world have architectural elements like doors, windows, and archways submerged many feet below ground level. <laughs> Both World War I and II are cited as a way in which Tartaria was destroyed and hidden, Reflecting the reality that the extensive bombing campaigns of World War II did destroy many historic buildings. The general evidence for the theory is that there are similar styles of buildings around the world, such as Capitol buildings with domes or star forts. That's so sick. What? Tartare is another conspiracy theory about alien cities. There's a juice shop here by me named after the conspiracy theory. They got shut down after an expose that the place was a total cult engaging in dubious things. Super racist and inspecting each other's fecal matter, fecal matter in the back of the juice shop. Please help me get out of this town. That sounds awesome. You fucked up looking this shit up. Okay, let's continue. Why do you think that is, guys? Because they were more advanced than us. Our history books were just altered. I like that she's pointing to buildings that we very much know exactly who made, uh, exactly how it was made, and definitely can recreate and and regularly restore actually but of course if you live in america it's fascinating for uh for you that like a building has been around for generations you know what i mean because in america what do we got it was 1776 baby like you know there's not a lot of of history there in comparison to like european uh nations and european capitals so yeah the tartarians built the duomo <laughs> The biggest down. Third, if you think about it, how easy is it to delete digital files and just create a couple of scribbles in a book and say, that's our history. And this is the part where I get called a crazy person, you guys. Yes, they had all the same technology that we have now back then. But that's a whole new rabbit hole for a whole new day. Yeah, the funniest part is like half of those buildings that she's pointing to have taken like multiple generations to complete too. Including but not limited to the wall, ma. See you on the next I one. I bet you didn't know the Mandela effect used for one thing and one thing only. How much history they can change right in front of our eyes. Who's they? Oh, you know she means the Jews. Okay, come on. This is, it's gotta be. Okay. How many, how many, how many, I mean, she never actually says... She never actually says it, probably. But every conspiracy theory, remember, this is an old-ass Hasanabi trope, okay? A rule, if you will.
every conspiracy theory inevitably devolves into what I like to call the Jewish tear. It all starts sometimes innocently in a very innocuous, ha-ha fun kind of way, like the flat earthers. But the deeper you go down that rabbit hole, you have to always find a group of people that neatly, uh, you know, tie the whole story together. Because conspiracy theories, of course, are the most anti-materialist you can get. And then conspiracy theories inevitably tie it back to a group of shadowy individuals. Who are the group of shadowy individuals? The cabal? Jewish people. Always. It's not even a Hassan Ibitrope, it's just a literal statement of fact. Yeah. This woman on TikTok bugging the fuck out because she swears that there was a cornucopia in the Fruit of the Loom logo. Fruit of the Loom seen this and put a timeline up of all of their logos they've ever had with the dates under them. And according to that chart, it never had a cornucopia. But this woman was being relentless. She didn't drop it. So she went home, pawed through all of her laundry, and found one of her shirts with the cornucopia on it. I truly do believe. This is like, this is what the elites are busy with. <laughs> Silly liberals. Whilst well, you guys are running around, okay, having fun, watching Nickelodeon, which everybody knows is, uh, it translates from old Latin to I love Satan, okay? You're doing all that. Meanwhile, what are the elites doing? Making you forget about the Fruit of the Loom cornucopia, okay? And also ancient civilizations, but definitely the cornucopia thing. <laughs> They're simultaneously making you forget about ancient civilizations and also doing 9-11, but also somewhere on that list of priorities, they there was a guy Guy who was like we gotta make them forget the cornucopia <laughs> better check your closet elites might be changing the logos there now after they got caught no i'm gonna run up uh, i'm gonna run up immediately after the stream and <laughs> check to see you know <laughs> if i have a cornucopia in my underwear that the mandela effect is an operation that is basically here to gaslight the public it's to see how much history can be altered right in front of our eyes yeah like that's really fun and cool because what? But I got to the bottom of the Fruit of the Loom cornucopia Mandela effect and I'm upset. Claire really pulled through for us and went through all of her old clothes until she found an official logo. Not only is this an official Fruit of the Loom shirt, except the cornucopia looks exactly how we've all described it and remembered it. This reignited my fixation and after digging through the internet, I found this old newspaper that specifically says Fruit of the Loom logo was initially a cornucopia. And Fruit of the Loom has been questioned about the cornucopia. They've straight up been lying to us saying that in never existed. Please note that this Fruit of the Loom image that was created from people's memories matches exactly what's on Claire's shirt. Not only are they lying to us, they're intentionally causing chaos. If you go to their homepage, they have a whole timeline of their logos and what company has that. That's not evidence enough that they're intentionally trying to cause chaos. These are what their TikToks look like. I don't know. I'm convinced this is 100% corporate gaslighting. Mixed feelings about this because honestly, it is one of the greatest marketing ploys in all of history, but at what cost? This has caused me so much distress that both my husband and my therapist forbade me from pursuing it any further. Glad I pursued my heart and got to the bottom of this, but tell me what you think. Should we just admire their marketing or should we open a class action lawsuit to be reimbursed for emotion? Okay, so I'm confused. I mean, I think she's joking. Uh, yeah, she's definitely joking. But what I don't understand is, like, who cares? You know what? I don't support all women. Is it actually for real? Like, did they have a cornucopia? Was, was there no cornucopia? I don't understand. Quiz yourself on stream. Mandela effect. Test slash kick W. Thanks for the slash kick W. Only one in 10 people can pass the Mandela effect memory test. Is this going to be a fucking malware thing? What is the correct name of the cereal? Cap'n Crunch? Captain Crunch. Okay. Fucking got him. What's Jigsaw's signature line in the Saw movies? Do you want to play a game? Oh, it's I want to play a game. Fuck. I fucked it up. Which is the correct, which is the correct name for the correction fluid? Um, white out. Pick the correct target logo. Okay. What is an actual airline? Which is an actual airline? 
Alaska Airlines, Alaskan Airlines. Uh, I think it's Alaskan Airlines. Oh, it's Alaska Airlines, which is a correct logo for the laughing cow. I actually have no idea. Why would you? Bro, this is so dumb. Like what? Not getting this right or getting it wrong would not do any. How do you spell the saint's name? Mother Teresa. Which is the correct name of the entertainment center restaurant? Chuck E. Cheese, Chuck E. Cheeses. What is the color of Tony the Tiger, the mascot of the Frosted Flakes? Wait, what? Black or blue? What? Isn't this the same color? What's happening? Oh, the nose. What is the color of Tony the Tiger, the mascot? Blue? Does Morpheus from the Matrix say, what if I told you everything you knew was a lie? I think so. All those memes were a lie. There wasn't even such a line in the movie. Okay, well, this is so dumb. This is like, this doesn't prove anything. This just means like our memory is kind of bad. Like what? It's like, damn, bro, you don't remember a line from a fucking movie in like 2003 or whenever the fuck it came out? Boom, fucking Mandela effect. What does Henry the, the Eighth hold in his famous portrait? Wait, what? I don't know. A turkey leg or gloves? Probably gloves. Probably not a turkey leg. Why would I think he was holding a turkey leg? That seems dumb as hell. What is the correct logo for Volkswagen with a gap, without a gap, with a gap? Okay. What's the predominant color in Uncle Sam's hat? Uh, I think blue. What is the name of this? Sh Barbara Streisand. What is the correct name of the peanut butter brand? Jif. Does three CPO have a silver leg? I'm gonna go with yes, because that was a that was a gimme. I, I what is the name of the villain from 100 Cruella Deville? That's it. I'm fucking cracked. Like what? This is why you don't believe in the Mandela effect because your universe hasn't changed. A lot of people swear they saw the Tiananmen Square tank man get run over by the tank, but when they see the footage and can't comprehend that he just walked away. I don't think that's Mandela effect. I think that's just cinephobia. And like, good luck explaining that. Good luck explaining that to human beings, by the way.